Hi boys and girls, Kurt here with Moto Edit, your newest moto vlog on YouTube. Yeah, I was watching a bunch of moto vlogs and I just decided, what the hell, I would give it a shot. Uh, I got two, two dandy little scoots to ride around on and uh, you can see the 06 DRZ400 and I've got the IMS four gallon on there and uh, some bits and doodads, pivot pegs, um, all kinds of stuff. Tons fabrication, I got everything they have. So the rear rack and the relocation bracket for the, for the uh, tool pack and then the skid plate and uh, their little funky little chain guard there just for the hell of it. <clears throat> Garmin 60CX for GPS and the uh, double take mirrors. I'll talk more about all that good stuff while I'm riding. Give me something to chat about. I also have the 2013 Ducati Monster 20th Anniversary 796 with uh, it's number 75 of 200. Uh, I got a fly screen, didn't come with it. Um, just got it used off of a guy on Ducati Monster forums, I think. DucatiMonster.org, one of those two. Um, threw some bar-end mirrors on because the stalkers didn't give me any view past my shoulders and elbows. And I put on exhaust. They are the Leo Vinci... Uh, what are they? I forget. I want to say CS1, but that's... that's uh, That's the other one. Vance and Hines was a CS1. Anyway, carbon. Uh, the big yellow Leo Vinci stickers that were on there just didn't look right. Uh, this side actually didn't look too bad because the yellow played with the yellow spring, but I took them off and ordered some Ducati Performance stickers online. Just found them. I searched exhaust stickers and found them. So uh, Both really fun rides. Uh, I'll chat more about them when I get around to actually being able to ride and hopefully that will be very soon but things are busy 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 for me right now um, I'm actually brewing beer at the moment and that is way past all the mess of the garage and I'm doing it back here with my cooler and Blickman Boilermaker Actually, I don't remember if they call that a boilermaker or not. But I got the big Blickman stand and a cheap pot. Upgrade slowly. And I have mashed in. I am doing a blonde ale. And it smells super awesome. So uh, in roughly an hour, I'll be throwing that in and boiling it and adding the hops and whatnot and so forth. So... Uh, That'll be good. And if I've got a motorcycle event, annual event that I host every year, I host it, uh, well, last three years, I believe, three or four years, I've done it on Labor Day weekend. And it works out well for myself and my family, um, just vacation time wise and, and being able to schedule it. So that'll be, that'll be all on the DRZ because it's up in uh, in north eastern I guess Nebraska and uh, we'll go up there I'll go up there either Thursday night or early Friday and get things ready and then people will roll in on Friday and we'll hang out and eat and drink and be merry on Friday and then Saturday we'll go on a big ride we'll do well, depending on the weather, last year it was just crazy hot. So I seriously, I think we went like maybe 125 miles or something like that on the ride on Saturday. It was just so hot. We we said, heck with it, let's go drink beer. Uh, this year, hopefully the weather works out and it's as nice as it is today with a little bit of a rain shower. It's like, I don't know, 75 degrees and low humidity, almost no wind. It's beautiful out right now. If that is the case, I know we're gonna do between two and 300 miles that day. I've got a big, there's actually, if you go onto dual sport maps, 
dot com. Uh, you know, you can s scroll around and look on a map, um, and you can check out different routes. And there's one that's on there from my buddy. Uh, there was an annual ride up there out of Verdigree, Nebraska, which is just a little ways away from where I host the event. That called the the Verdig Verdigree Dual Sport Ride, and they have a nice big big route, um, all gravel and dirt and up there, there's some really cool sand roads. You'll get on the two track, and some of it, you know, my buddy Aaron, he calls them goat paths, but it's uh, basically just just the two track that's overgrown, going going past somebody's pasture or field or something, and it's just a really really fun route. Um, nothing overly technical. It's not like you're going out to Moab and uh, trying to run some some gnarly stuff, but uh, we have a good time. Then we go back, and same guy, Aaron. He donates T bones, and we grill those up, and we'll drink. Uh, we'll drink the brew that I'm beering, or the the beer that I'm brewing, and and uh, I've got a few others that we were actually drinking on out of the super trasherator that I fashioned. So there's there's the hoses that hook up to the taps, or that are the hook up to the kegs. Kegs will go inside. We tested it out this last weekend. Well, you get the idea. That shuts. Uh, they fit inside. I got three, three kegs, three soda, old Pepsi soda kegs, five gallon. So I'll have three beers on tap, and uh, I'll probably take. Gosh, I don't know. I've got, I've got. Hopefully, I can finish off one of the kegs that I've got, and then take up four. So I'll have two that'll be clear full and two that'll be i don't know there's a gallon or two in both of those but yeah so we're gonna have a good 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 time up there always a good time uh all right well this is just my first video i was gonna go ahead and start doing this for the hell of it give me something to something to do in my helmet when i go for a ride because that'll give me maybe an excuse to actually go for a ride I'm very busy, and I will talk more about that in the coming episodes. Um, anyway, thanks for checking out the video, and uh, hopefully I make some more and I become more entertaining and figure out what the heck I'm doing. And uh, I guess we'll, we'll see you all very, very soon.